this morning I've decided to go out with my photography hide to the local marshes and my goal is to photograph birds, deer and maybe fox. Good morning. Ready? Let's go. Right now, it's still a few hours before the sunrise, so I have to find my spot in complete darkness and the fog just adds up to the challenge. Now I managed to find an appropriate spot where I've set up my tent and now I have to get my equipment ready quickly. It's best to be quiet and perfectly still before the animals show up. That way they won't know I am here. I saw some birds.
I just photographed a common castro. At least I believe it's a common castro. It's really, really far. It, it landed on the tree. And now it's sitting there. It's really beautiful. Being lit by a sunlight. sitting on a tree and I spotted it when it took off and it started uh, coming right at me so I started um, photographing and I got a few really great shots let me show you I also managed to get a few good shots of birds later on, but it happened so fast that I couldn't film myself at it, so make sure you stick to the end where I will show them to you. I must say, I am pretty proud that I managed to spot and photograph a Eurasian Marsh Harrier, which is a very shy bird in my area. Alright, I had to change into some shorter clothes because it got really hot really fast. Now I've put my hide away, it's packed in the car and now it's time to go and set up my drop rig, my audio recording drop rig into the bush and let it record overnight so I can get the um, ambient recording of the nature and surrounding area. Here 
you can see me setting up the tripod, which serves as a stand for my microphone, the recorder and the power supply. I am storing everything in an almost waterproof box with a few layers of shock protection and heat insulation. Then all I have to do is hide this rig so people can't find it and leave it there for a few days or even weeks. I've been using this technique for recording ambience for quite some time now and it has proven very successful. Besides hours of beautiful, immersive and uninterrupted ambient sounds of forests, meadows, seaside, moorland and lake areas, I also managed to record the calls of jackals, wolves, badgers with cubs, roe and red deer, foxes, wild boars and countless birds. If you're interested in gear and my process for recording such sounds, please leave me a comment and maybe I will dedicate a future video to this topic. Ok, so that's it for today. Now I'm heading home and I can't wait to edit photos that I got. Thank you for watching, I really enjoyed it and see you next time.